Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. We're gonna be talking about bangs. As a stylist, I almost always have clients who sit in my chair and they say they want bangs. So when I think of bangs, I think of like Zoe de Chanel bangs. So they're very blunt, they're very thick, they're heavy, and they go straight across your forehead. However, as I start to talk to my clients, I realize that they're actually are not looking for bangs, but they're looking for more of a layered haircut. So in this video, I just wanted to kind of clear up a lot of the miscommunication that happens between your stylist and yourself and what you think that you want and what your stylist thinks would look better on you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna go through some pictures of some bangs and the proper names for them so you guys can have a better way of explaining to your stylist what you want. So let's get started. So the first picture I have here is um, of Jennifer Aniston. So when I, I realize a lot of girls will say that they want bangs when they really mean face framing layers. So when I think of face framing layers, I always think of Jennifer Aniston, and this is more of like her more recent haircut. So this isn't the Rachel. So the Rachel, when she was on Friends, um, the haircut that was named the Rachel, it's a very like a 90s haircut. It was a very clean, clean line. There was some texture to it, but it was a very clean haircut. This is more of like a wispy layers. So this picture, it's not bangs. If you're looking for something like this, these are face framing layers. You can also have very similar layer, layers if you have a short uh, haircut as well, a short bob. It can really do it with any length of hair. Really depends on your face shape and what you're comfortable with. So I have a lot of clients who like to put their hair up and they just want some wisps coming down. This is a great way of still having those wisps when you put your hair up. Also this is Sienna Miller who also has face framing layers. Another picture, I don't know this actress's name. I really should do my research on, on actresses. I'm so bad with names but that's okay. Um, it's the girl from Big Bang Theory. Gorgeous, so beautiful, and she's so cute. These, again, are face framing layers. I think she has layers in the back as well. They're probably softer in the back, and they probably just connect to the front. This is a great option if uh, you're looking for a little bit of movement in the front around your face. So moving on now to side swept bangs. Another thing that I find with a lot of clients is that they will ask for bangs when they really mean side swept bangs. So these kinds of bangs can be cut into your face framing layers. That's why I wanted to start out with the face framing layers. Face framing layers, you can have them start like at, at your jawline without anything around your face. Really depends on your face shape. So I would just let your stylist kind of pick the best hair or a haircut for you. But if you're looking for side bangs, make sure that you explain that you want side bangs, not just bangs. So it's our job to ask you what kind of bangs you want. And I always ask for pictures. You know, we'll pull up our phone and we'll look through Pinterest or through Instagram and we'll see what sticks out at you and what you really like to have. Can you wear these bangs across, straight across? Yes, absolutely, you can do that. I, for example, today I have my hair parted in the middle, but generally, like if I were to, usually my hair likes to part this way on the side, and so I love a good side bang. So I would just probably just trim this off. This one is, so I think it grew out a little bit. Yeah, I have some side bangs here. This is usually what I would do to refresh my haircut. So I would just, if I feel like I just wanna leave the back to grow, I would just clean this up so that I have kind of like that cute sweep. So it still looks nice when I put my hair up. And then I can blend those layers or those bangs into the face framing layers around the front of my face. So you can't see my layers today just because my hair is really wavy and I like to leave it in its natural state because I'd like to lay off the heat as much as possible and not damage it. So to go back to side bangs, make sure that your stylist knows which way you're going to be parting your hair. So if you're going to part it on this way, we cut it differently than if you're going to part it this way. And if you part your hair in the center, then you might want to do some curtain bangs, which we'll get to in a second. Or maybe bangs are just going to be difficult for you because sometimes people's hair splits. My hair splits in the middle, so I really can't have blunt bangs coming across. Also, I have very fine hair, but that's another completely different topic. So this is another example of side bangs. I forgot her name. These are great bangs. Again, um, they're, they're blended into her, her face framing layers. 
and she probably has layers all over her hair I'm not quite sure you don't have to have the layers in the back as well you can have just blunts in the back and just face framing layers in the front and a side bang so that's really good for people who don't want a lot of movement in the back they just want something really you know movement in the front of the face another example of side bangs I feel like they really pushed her bangs over to the side because it almost looks like her hair doesn't really part there it parts a little bit further over with side bangs you can still wear them down straight down so if you want something that's very versatile and I find that that's the most common question is that you want something that you can wear straight down so blunt and you can want you and then maybe sweep it to the side if you change your mind or change your hairstyle so this is a great way to do your hair however it really depends on the texture of your hair and how much hair do you have in the front I have very fine hair and it's like thinning I always joke that I need a hair transplant like it's really really visible especially in pictures so when I go to do blunt bangs they they sweep to the side there's really not much hair there in the front to give me proper bangs it's a great way to cover any thinning areas you have in the front as well because like I said for me for example I have a thinning area up here I've had it since I was a teenager and so if I were to wear my hair to the side and sweep it it just looks thicker and it covers that area up so this is a great option and I found these pictures of Haley Baldwin looking super cute and it's very like French chic kind of cute and they look so similar even though I'm like is this even the same event because it's literally the same picture she's dressed in white in one picture she has her hair up in this picture she has her hair down the colors look a little bit different but that could just be flash and photography but anyway the point of this is I love this hair because with her hair she can wear it down she can wear her bangs uh, down and wispy over her forehead and she can sweep it to the side and she can also do kind of like a curtain bang so where she can like split it there and and have it just kind of wispy all over her face again so as I mentioned before it's nice to have layers around your face so when you put your hair up you still have something going on something really really cute and then when you hair, wear your hair down like in this picture she's able to wear her bangs down but they're also very free-flowing and very wispy and very like romantic make sure that you always have a picture for your hairstylist please come in with some pictures so when you sit down and you say bangs there's so many different types of bangs so you have to know what you're looking for and what your maintenance is too because bangs require a lot of maintenance but I'll talk, to, talk about that in a second so when you say bangs these are what I'm these are usually what I'm thinking about I'm sorry the picture seems a little bit pixelated but I really like the picture because it does come down like it, it's just a very pretty picture so these are wispy bangs her hair is pretty fine so if you have fine hair this is probably what your bangs are probably gonna look like if you're gonna get some textured bangs with some uh, layers around the fr around the side that's another thing you got to tell your hairstylist if you want your bangs to be straight across if you want them wispy if you want them heavy or if you want them connected with the rest of your layers so you could do straight across nothing there like so just a blunt cut or you can have wisps around your face and I know I keep repeating the same things over and over again it's just because I really just want to drive the point home and really try to explain as much as, as possible and I think pictures are the best way to do it so this is another picture um, of some really great wispy bangs so if you're looking for textured wispy bangs that's what I like wispy texture to me wispy and texture are very similar so if you don't want blunt heavy bangs like Zoe de Chanel then you should ask for your, your hairstylist for texture textured bangs so this is an example of textured bangs her hair color is different so you got to keep in mind also like I mentioned the texture of your hair but also the color of your hair so if you have dimension and highlights in your hair they are going to look different than if you have just a solid black hair so very different um, moods very different ideas for bangs this is a picture of really wispy bangs so this is like taking it to an extreme with the wisps and the texture if this is something you like make sure you ask your hairstylist for wispy bangs so wispy bangs and bring this picture in another example of really wispy textured bangs are these ones on Kendall Jenner I have a feeling this is a clip-on bang because it looks like it's been razored so a lot of um, 
like hair extensions, we use razors, uh, we don't use scissors. So it looks like somebody just took them and just kind of razored them down to give her that extra, extra wispy look. Another picture here is of Kim. Again, really cool bangs. It looks like she's wearing extensions in the back. And they look like they're clip-on. It was, it was clipped here and then again, razor down here. So that is textures. Whenever you see a little bit of forehead there, that means that it's been textured. So what we can do is like we cut into the hair, it'll point what it's called point cutting, so that we give that kind of like pointy PC texture. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. So this is Bella Thorne, I know her name, and she is wearing curtain bangs. So she looks like she has thick hair, or maybe it's a wig. It looks like that's a, that's a lot of hair. If her hair is really that thick, she's very lucky. If you have very thick, heavy hair, this is perfect for you. You can wear your bangs down and then kind of sweep them in the middle. Or curtain bangs. They're kind of cute, but they don't look good on everybody. I think you really have to have a certain kind of uh, style to make it work. So just make sure that you kind of play around with your bangs before you go ahead and do something like this. Another picture of curtain bangs is again split in the middle. You can wear them blunt or down, wispy all the way across and you can split them in the middle. You could probably sweep them to the side. Really depends on how your hair likes to part itself. I don't like it on Jessica Alba. It looks really awkward honestly. But you know if you ever want to change up your style that's always an option. These are bangs. These are So when I hear people, like when I hear my clients asking me for bangs, this is what I think oh you want bangs okay and start cutting and then usually they're like like I just want them like to start from here I'm like those are not bangs those are layers <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry if I'm hating on you but it's true I just think like we really need to get the vocabulary clear so this is Taylor Swift with pretty cool bangs I think they're a little too heavy and a little too long for her but that's not the point just wanted to show you a picture of what bangs look like so when you ask for bangs this is what it is and if you this is what you want then you want heavy blunt bangs make sure you ask for a blunt okay so there's literally almost no texture there at all. It's just blunt straight across, really heavy and um, yeah. And this is Nicole. She's so cute in this picture. I love the bangs on her. Again, they're really heavy I think for her face but um, again, this is an example of blunt, heavy bangs that go straight across. She does have a bit of layering that kind of takes it into the rest of her hair, so that's cool. If you don't want that, you don't have to do that. But I just wanted to show you a difference between like dark bangs and light bangs because they do look different. They do look different. They're, I find just dark hair in general is shinier. Jessica Biel, again, heavy, blunt bangs. These are very heavy, very blunt. I like them. They're not eating up her face uh, a little bit. They are little bit but not too much she's definitely wearing extensions and she doesn't have much layering on the sides so this is an example of someone who has blunt bangs with almost no layering this is an example of someone who has blunt bangs absolutely no layering on the side so if this is what you want make sure you bring in a picture to show your stylist so you know exactly how to section the hair and then we can tell you if your hair can actually take that um, because sometimes if you have really fine hair or if your hair doesn't want to split a certain way it's just it's not gonna work it doesn't work for everybody this is Zoe Deschanel with her very infamous blunt bangs I think she looks so much like Katy Perry so with her hair again blunt very blunt very heavy bangs these bangs are really in now they're really short bangs um, I like them doesn't look good on everybody so if you're wondering if bangs look good on you just gonna take your hair like this you know and then just section it out a little bit just like it's like a V and then and then just kind of go like this and then just kind of spread it and see if it would look good oh I think that actually like, kind of looks cute the whole idea is that like you just want to know if your hair is actually going to look good or your face is gonna look good when your forehead is covered so if you have a wide forehead bangs are a great option for you um, but it really again depends on the texture of your hair oh so one more thing maintenance having bangs is a lot of maintenance you're gonna have to go into the salon every once in a while and get a trim get them because they they grow so fast I don't know why it's always like bangs grow so hard we just we're so we get so uncomfortable when the hair starts to grow and like starts to go into our eyes and then we kind of sweep into the side or we start cutting it ourselves so bangs are a lot of maintenance and if you don't wash your hair often and your hair your bangs get greasy you're gonna have to just wash your bangs and 
blow dry them or style them and then just leave the rest of your hair. So bangs have to always look nice and fresh, right? Like you can't wear your bangs back. So if you're, if you haven't, if you're somebody who doesn't wash your hair very often and then you go to put your hair back, your bangs are going to sit there looking greasy. So you're going to have to really work with styling your bangs differently than the rest of your hair. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Bangs are a little bit more maintenance than if you had no bangs. Side sweat bangs are probably less maintenance and then layers are just layers so not much maintenance there all right I hope I covered everything um, I tried to get as many pictures for you as I could so that I can really express um, the vocabulary and what you guys are looking for when you go to the salon so I hope this helped if you guys have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below you can always DM me on Instagram if you have any like questions or you want to send me pictures of yourself um, not pictures of yourself but you know what I mean like if you have like hair questions lenasmakeup.com I will see you guys very soon in another video Oh, all right, bye.